Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about nasal polyps, mucosilla and pyosilla. What this is, I will explain one after the other, starting with nasal polyps. Those are benign proliferations of nasal mucosa and they typically occur in both nostrils. I want to talk about their etiology. They usually arise after or from a chronic inflammation. So predisposing factors are asthma, recurring or chronic infections, allergies, and cystic fibrosis. Symptoms of a polyp are chronic sinusitis, persistent congestion of the nose, snoring, sleep apnea due to the obstruction of the nostril and the airways, post-nasal drip, so a runny nose, reduced smell, pressure headache, and epistaxis. If you don't know what epistaxis is, uh, it's the medical term for nosebleed, and I made a video about that also. Diagnosis of polyps is done by otoscopy or a nasoscope. This is for the outer portions. If deeper regions of the nose have to be visualized, then an endoscope can be used. With the aid of a CT or MRI, the exact size and location of a nasal polyp can be determined. The treatment depends on the underlying cause, as so often in medicine. But what is usually helpful is to humidify the air which the patient breathes in and also polypectomy is possible with a small suction device or a micro debreeder so that the polyp is removed and so the patient will be able to breathe better and by that also snoring, sleep apnea and a reduced smell and so on might go away. Now I want to talk about mucosella and pyocella. Um, mucosella is the pooling of mucus due to a disorder in the drainage of the sinuses. Uh, this usually occurs because of a blockage of the ostium due to, for example, a tumor, a scar formation after a surgery or inflammation. Pyocella is basically the same, just that in this case the uh, mucus contains pus due to microorganisms which are found within the sinus cavities. The location can be either in the frontal sinus or in the posterior etmoidal sinus as the most common locations, but it can also occur in the sphenoidal sinus or the maxillary sinus. If you have questions to the sinuses, I also made a video about that. The treatment is primarily drainage of the mucus. That can sometimes be easier said than done. Sometimes the surgery is required where they remove a small part of the bone or create an artificial exit for the mucus if the blockage of the ostium is too difficult to remove. Sometimes it's possible to remove the blocking agent, which can free the airways and can free the mucus drainage by itself. And also bone reconstruction might be necessary because the pooling of this mucus might make the bone thick, thinner and might lead to permanent destruction of the normal bone structure. Symptoms are generally said ophthalmologic complaints, rhinological complaints and neurological complaints. So those can be diplopia, rhinorrhea, headache, again snoring, sleep apnea, pressure which is felt behind the face in the forehead um, next to the noses where the sinuses are all located. Diagnosis of mucosilla and pyosilla is both made by CT or MRI. Usually CT is the preferred option because it also shows the condition of the bony structures. Since the sinuses um, expand due to the mucus filling and the bones might thin out. This was all for this video. I hope it was helpful and I would be very happy if you would subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you very much.